can run, but I can't hide from this group. Can can't I? hide. Uh, uh, in, uh, I'm sorry, I was kind of doing something else. Could you, in, uh, in one sentence, could you ask me that question again, please? Yeah, it's like, I can tell, you know, from one of the other programs that I heard, you know, that you, uh, the Wednesdays, when Victor is talking, and just like Felipe, you know, those guys, I can tell they've really perfected your, you know, the way that your program. And like, say, when I talk to people, you know, you know, the qualifying, the agenda and stuff like that, I was trying to figure out if they had a technique that helped them to really get the principle of your program. I mean, do they have like the mind map set in there when they talk to people where they knew I got to get this, I got to get this, I got to get this in the conversation that the kind of start honing in, perfecting how, because I know that uh, I've talked to different people and I've gotten all these different courses, but the key is to being able to talk, you know, is being able to, to sell yourself. So I know that's, that's why I'm missing okay. being able okay. to perfect the way I'm talking to people. So basically um, what you, what we're talking about is how do you, how do you perfect your sales skills? How do you hone your yeah. sales skills to such a degree where you're making money? Um, right. Yeah, you want uh, you want me to tell you the truth or just make you feel good today? <laughs> truth all the way. Truth all the way. <laughs> the, the to me, because ev what everybody else has gone through here, I've gone through it. The the gurus, the seminars, the products, the purchases. I've done all that too. I've got reams of it. I got boxes and storage centers. Okay, uh, on all this stuff. I love information. We're all junkies, and. Um, the the key to me the where the shortcut the shortcoming that i had because i was working hard i was learning all the techniques the strategies hell i went four and a half years to law school i learned about contracts um i have a, a degree i got a degree back there on the wall um from law school um so i did all the things but i still wasn't making money and why are we why do we go into this thing called real estate to make, make money, money. And, you know, to have a quality of life. Um, the missing link for me was sales. And I'm, that's my mantra. That's, that's my soapbox. You guys heard me. I'm always blathering about sales persuasion, knowing how to converse with people. And that's sounding like that robotic scripted sales guy that we all hang up the phone on and everything. Um, so how do you get good at this? I think is your question. Um, I, I I talk to people every day. I practice this wonderful, uh, you know, uh, what Victor and um, what Justin are doing here. Uh, Cause I know you guys do a lot of role playing. Uh, to me, you've got to get to a level of confidence by practicing every day. You're, this is it. Um, I'm trying to give you the kernel of truth here that changed my life financially. Um, I practice sales every day. I, I kind of do an analysis on my, when I get off the phone with somebody, I do an analysis. Uh, I, I, I record myself in a lot of cases. Okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Did I chicken out? Should I have asked a question? And, and oh, why didn't I ask him this? Or why did I let him manipulate me and pick my brain for 50 minutes? And, and I, I kind of do this diagnostic on myself. So every day you practice in with a group like this, or we do a Mondays, or you do an entourage or a private session with me, you're in my program, um, or you make real phone calls, you know, even with real phone calls, picking up the Zoom or Craigslist, go into it with the attitude, okay, I'm, maybe I'm not going to do a deal, but I'm going to make myself a better salesperson. I'm going to do things different. I'm going to sound different than everyone else. Okay, when you go, and we did this Monday, I, did you get to listen to the Monday group call? Because I kind of did the doctor analogy. When you go in to see your doctor, he or she says, hey, we're having a special on back surgery. Hop on the table here. The price goes up on Friday. You don't want to go to a doctor like that. Well, what does your doctor do? He, he or she says, um, hey, why are you in here? What hurts? When did it start hurting? Are you taking medications? What kind of work do you do? Do you lift bricks or you lift a pencil? Uh, did your father and mother have those? And they do that diagnostic, that analysis, that examination before they prescribe medication or treatment, course of treatment. So 
you know, uh, the old joke, a little boy goes up to an old man. He says, how do you know, uh, hey, uh, how do I get to, I'm lost. How do I get to Carnegie Hall? And the old man says, you practice, my boy, you practice. And, and that's, you know, and he meant playing in the orchestra, bad joke. Well, but, but, but the key is here, someone's got some background noise, I think. Yeah, I thought it. I'll somebody's got to mute them. Somebody's got to mute themselves. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, it's better. Thank you, whoever did it. Um, you got to focus focus on one thing intently. I'm sorry if I'm going too long here, Victor. Apologies. Uh, this is a really great question. Um, oh, no, not you at just got to you got to learn how to talk to people. I was a shy guy. Okay, my wife. Yes, my wife. If you don't believe me, I was the guy when we used to go on dates. I wrote little notes in a little crib sheet talking points because she made me nervous. Beautiful <laughs> women do that. Um, and um, hey, you married 34 years for a reason. Uh, <laughs> the thing about it is I talk to people. First question, I, I go into the agenda. I skip uh, the traditional bonding and rapport. Why are we talking today? What is your biggest challenge? What is your problem? What do you want to see happen? Tell me why, uh, what you'd like to see. And maybe I can help you solve it. If I can give you a solution that works in your time frame, your budget, your area of authority, can we make a commitment today? Or are we on a fishing expedition? So I'm sorry to give such a simple answer to such a complicated question, but I practice every day. I talk to my clients. I talk to, I do cold calls still too. I'd rather do my warm calls. I do a lot of marketing for warm calls because they're much easier, common sense. And I go into, and I use the system. There's the reason why, why did Henry Ford invent an assembly line? You remember before Henry Ford, do you know how, you, how they used to make cars? They build them one at a time. A They'd time. have all these guys, you know, and it took, it took days to put a car together. And Henry Ford said, if we, if we the genius of Henry Ford was every, we'll build an assembly line and everybody will have one job and instead of days to build this car, we'll get a car out in a couple hours or multiple cars in hours. So you got to uh, practice sales, learn how to ask questions and do a diagnostic on yourself. Say, hey, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I have done better? And slowly your confidence will build and you'll do more deals and make a hell of a lot more money. That's really my story. That's it. Sorry I went so long. Oh no, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I, I think that's pretty much the truth for, for all of us. You know, you I, 